All right, we got the body stripped, we got the guitar all gutted out and the neck taken off, and uh, let's get to uh, the process of what it takes to relic out that guitar. What you see here, poly finish, which means it's real hard, okay? And uh, it's hard to make the finish crack on that. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna start out. One, first of all, I own a body shop, so it's easy access for all the tools I need to do this. And at home, it's probably kinda hard to do it, so, with what I got. But if you got access to a DA sander, that would be real nice. And the air hose and air compressor and, you know, everything else you need. We're gonna start out with some 80 grit sandpaper. And we're just gonna hit it lightly on the edges where it would be wearing out. See if you can get the paper to stick on there. You know, that's gonna look like a sanded out, you know, sand job, but it's not, okay? When we get done with it, it's gonna look like it's worn out. This is the only way you can start off on this type of deal. We're gonna go to the back right here. contour area that we're sanding down, see? So. Heavy relic out job, but uh, it's gonna be a heavy relic. Okay. And then you might want to come over here. See? Like this is where you'd be hitting all the high strings. High notes. So you want that a little worn out. And then maybe we'll get those by hand. And uh, don't do it too much, because if you do it too much, it's gonna be overkill. But this one here, it's going to kind of have a... It's going to have a little bit of a... Used and abused look to it. So we're kind of doing a little... Uh, we're doing a little bit more than we usually do. start out with okay yes it does look like it's sanded like I said just hold your freaking horses all right so now we're gonna do a little bit of sanding by hand but okay and what we're gonna sand he's got the concave uh, where the switch is going instead of having a cover as you can see right here now we're gonna go ahead and take our 80 grit one more time we're just going to kind of hit that edge. And don't worry, believe me, it's going to look like an old guitar when we get done, dude. And on this edge here, you just want to sand it to where you see the wood. That's it. And this is probably poplar wood. See? You see that right there? I don't know if you can see it. So you can see where I sanded that. And of course, we're going to get right here where our five-way is. Get the edges of that. And once again, you only want to sand it to where the wood shows. That's it. You know, use the same tools for everything I do. Okay, so now we got it all sanded. Yeah, it looks like a piece of shit right now. Just hang on. All right. This is where the jack hole is. Now, we got some sanding done to it, so the next thing we're gonna do is, uh, before we do anything, I'm gonna show you how to relic out the hardware. 
You should have started with that anyway. We'll take all the pieces that we're going to relic out. Once again, you get your sander because you want to take some of the finish off. That's the neck plate. As you see how I did that. And I'm just doing it on the edges. Just randomly doing it. Okay. See how that's starting to look really old now? now? This baby here, the knobs you don't have to do nothing with. You might want to take a piece of uh, 80 grit and just scuff down the top of them. Just scuff them down. What you want to do is kind of get the chrome off the edges of it. Where it comes copper. When you see copper or brass, stop. And no, it's not going to have a sand look. You're just making it easier. See how I'm doing that? You can start seeing the copper in there. 80 grit's really the best starting position you can go with. See? Once you bust through the chrome, it'll relic out really nice. Okay. So we got our worn out looking knobs. So we got our worn out looking knobs that we're going to relic out. Stick them in the bucket. We got our neck plate. Now we got to get our uh, jack cover. Once again, we're going to. Take our DA to that. Now with the bridge, I'm going to get a little different with that. I'm going to take this. Variable <laughs> Now you got to be careful with something like this. And it's always wise to, uh, when you're working around metal, wear your safety glasses, guys. <laughs> so what we're going to do see where the screws go right there? We're going to... And then on the top of the bridge here, we're going to my it. Okay. This one here has some pretty good relicking going on already. Okay. Now I could go with this one right here too. See, I could give it the old uh, machine buff look, which I think I'm going to go that route anyway. Yeah, that's going to look awesome. This is real important when you use this. you got to have a lid. If you don't use a lid with this, it's not going to relic out because the fumes actually help it relic. Be very careful. Wear your safety glasses. You should have rubber gloves on. I've been doing this a while. And yes, for all you smart ass motherfuckers out there, I got my gloves right here. Don't let this get on your skin and do not breathe it in. Just pour enough from erratic acid. If you can look, I don't know if you can see that, but there's smoke coming out of that. Don't breathe them fumes. Now you want to put the lid on that nice and tight. And then just set that to the side. Actually, if you can put it out in the sun where the heat would get to it, it would actually relic faster. So we're going to do that. That's how you relic out the... We'll come back to that and uh, check it out.